Good day everyone, my name is Arslan and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. So I hope you guys are good, I hope everything is fine on your side and uh, you are enjoying my videos guys. So today we have an extremely uh, important video as usual. Uh, check this out, so I am in the initial stages of a gas station design that I am doing. Uh, there are still so many things to do and uh, this is not even the final um, the final design right this is just an initial um you could say a proposition um and uh, you know check this out look at this roof so have you guys ever wondered how we make this roof so you know this is a complete separate video but i'm going to show you guys right so on you know for today now we need a fence around these three sides right and uh, we are going to be making a parametric fence by the massing method and the general adaptive method right the ones that i have been doing uh, for making facades and uh, you know when you're making pumps like that um, it is a wrong way to do it manually right people have been doing it manually that's completely wrong it's not how it should be done and there's a proper way to do it and today i'm going to show you that so first of all we need a new we need a family and a general uh, model adaptive right so um, you know as far as the size is concerned i've decided to make um families which are i mean every unit is about um three meters okay so let's change this to mmm and millimeters that's better two decimal places okay okay and now let's uh, kind of uh, speed up so this is going to be 1500 okay that's 1.5 meters and uh, 1000 500 okay so two of these points are done and these are going to be our pasting points so we have to make them adaptive so this is number one that's number two so when we're pasting this into the our main project so we paste it by one and two okay now we need two more points and a set and a tap tap okay now paste and a set again and tap tap and a paste okay so we have pasted both of these points our fence is going to be completely parametric our initial height is a 200 mm let's uh, change this into a controllable parameter so 200 mm um, uh, height e n i t i a l initial okay okay and uh, there's even a second point <coughs> uh, guys excuse me for my sore throat um so now uh, you know two of these points are initially um uh, elevated let's connect them by spine let's convert it into a reference line okay now we need more points so on the plane set and uh, tap tap no that's the wrong direction um uh, point and the set tap 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 okay this is it right yes um so um now points set tap 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 and uh, paste Okay, so now we have pasted two more points, and uh, the zero of these points is this, is that 200 mm elevated point, right? So the height of this is going to be uh, three meters. This is the total height of our fence, and check this out; uh, it has already been raised. So let's change this into um, three meters um, height of um, guys. The names can be as I previously said anything, as long as um, you can differentiate it in the end so this into three meters height of um, excuse me so now both of them are selected uh, connect by spline change it into a reference line now let's click on that and uh, let's click on that so spline and uh, reference line and uh, uh, connect that and connect that and uh, spline and uh, reference line so now let's place uh, our profile point and uh, i forgot both of them so connect connect spine reference line and come on one last final one some um, so many splines and so many <laughs> reference lines uh, okay so now this is the, the profile uh, you know we'll use a polygon a uh, four-sided polygon is a rectangle um, so set you know set is extremely important uh, when it comes to adaptive families you have to make sure uh, your profile is right otherwise you are going to be having errors um, okay so um, um, tab uh, let's make it a bit down okay and uh, uh, let's click on that let's click on that and uh, control and that and uh, control and that 
make profile yes and you know we can even edit it later on right so that's fine now um, we need a second profile so circle set okay that is set and the height of this is going to be 100 mm and let's make that parametric so uh, let's click on that and uh, now 100 is selected so um, P R O F I L E profile uh, 100 mm okay uh, so now that is parametric now let's click on that let's click on that okay and uh, this is it guys and uh, you know we forgot one very important step and uh, you know what let me let me back how can it be uh, empty in the middle so um, okay um, it can't be empty in the middle isn't it uh, let's click no that's wrong um, so um, let's go first of all let's go to wireframe okay now that is selected and uh, what about in the mid right we need a mesh in the middle how can i forget that okay so now uh, the mesh is made and uh, now um, tab tab yes this is it so guys we are going to cheat a little bit right here uh, of course we cannot completely overburden our system so instead of uh, making uh, another adaptive family and uh, importing that mesh we are simply going to cheat and we are going to use a profile for our mesh and uh, come on come on come on mesh so it can be anything right it can be this that's fine and uh, do you guys want a golden mesh <laughs> uh, okay 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 this one if you just simply double click it it is gonna paste and uh, you know I know that uh, this is gonna be too small so 200 mm and uh, even the image uh, 0 0.2 uh, meters okay and okay and uh, let's see that what we have done realistic so check this out this is what i wanted to do okay so now in, in a way you know we have cheated our profile but uh, i cannot overburden my system because i'm on a laptop i am not on a, on my office pc and check this out guys our first family of our fence is already made look at how nice it looks and uh, it's completely parametric for example if you want to go from 80 to i mean from 100 to 80 yes and it is going to change so this is our first family this is point one this is point two load into the project and uh, um, it's already loaded now we are going to be using the mass and set let's go to top and even in this case let's go to consistent colors uh, massing inside uh, in place mass okay and uh, we need a, a reference a line uh, so um, one and uh, let's zoom out zoom out so uh, two okay now click on that and uh, let's bring it right here so three and then click on that again and let's bring it right here and one and uh, two okay so now let's go back to our um our view and uh so this is the the you know the profile and what's wrong with this line why isn't it being selected okay so this is the 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 profile that uh i've made now let's go to divide path and uh, not fix number fix distance and if you guys remember every unit was three meters right so we have made it and now let's go to create components and uh, let's paste our first family okay we have pasted our first family now let's select it and repeat and check this out guys so our <laughs> our fence is completed already so you know um doing it manually is wrong but this is the right way of making a fence inside a uh, rabbit a parametric fence and uh, for example if we select on that and if we go to edit so we uh, you know everything is on control right uh, for example 70 apply and it got 70 um 60 apply and check this out we have even further improved it now it looks i mean the scale looks a bit better right uh, i mean the size of this and the size of the pole are kind of the same so this is it guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you learned something from it and you know there are going to be these small one or two pieces which are not going to be which are not going to match properly because of the size i mean um, the distance between this point and that point is not 300 mm so you can you know individually um you can individually uh, fix these small spots uh, for example um, this family right here if you go to tab 
and if you select on this we can delete it and then we can individually fix these small spots right uh, but apart from that this is the right way of making a fence a parametric fence inside Revit so take care of yourself and uh, bye bye have a good day